this holy mass is offered for Joachim, Uma, Malton, Anthony, Henry, Camille, Linda, Modesta, Enrico, Nathalie, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony D, Anthony M, William family, Reginald, Anthony, Benjamin, Joseph, Rosario, Dembo, Francisco, Panasso, Lizu, Victor, G. Susainathan, Jerome, Robert, Menicia, Marcon, Anthony, William, Tito Jr., Roy, Cyril, Raphael Jr., Joyed, Tutoy, Bangute family, Venceslavo, Theodore, Anthony, and all souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A word of warm welcome to all of you for the celebration of the sacrament of love. Early this morning, we are thankful to Jesus for all his blessings in our life. On this day, our Mother Church celebrates the 25th Sunday in the ordinary time. The theme of the gospel is humility leads us to perfection of our faith. So therefore, today we are remembering the week of the last week. God has been so generous and we need to be thankful and grateful for all his blessings in a special way, taking care of us, in a special way, blessing all our children and keeping our faith alive and active. You and I are here, it is not because on our merit, it is because God has given us and God has blessed us, and therefore, we want to give him back our love and gratitude. May this day be a, a day of joy, a day of humility, a day of love. Therefore, coming together is always a rejoicing moment in the presence of the Lord. And therefore, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, brother, and you my, brothers and my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have made these sins, 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 sins in my thoughts and in my words. words in what, in what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together. Glory, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you. you. We, we bless, bless you. you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The godless say to themselves, Let us lie in wait for the virtuous man, since he annoys us and opposes our way of life reproaches us for our breaches of the law and accuses us of playing false to our upbringing. Let us see if what he says is true. Let us observe what kind of end he himself will have. If the virtuous man is God's son, God will take his part and rescue him from the clutches of his enemies. Let us test him with cruelty and with torture, and thus explore this gentleness of his and put his endurance to the proof. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, since he will be looked after. We have his word for it. The word of the Lord. Be the Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. O God, save me by your name. By your power, uphold my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. The Lord upholds my life. For proud men have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. They have no regard for God. The Lord my life. But I have God for my help. The Lord upholds my life. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, for it is good. The Lord upholds my life. A reading from the letter of St. James. Wherever you find jealousy and ambition, you find disharmony and wicked things of every kind being done. Whereas the wisdom that comes down from above is essentially something pure, it also makes for peace and is kindly and considerate. It is full of compassion and shows itself by doing good, nor is there any trace of partiality or hypocrisy in it. Peacemakers, when they work for peace, sow the seeds which will bear fruit in holiness. Where do these wars and battles between yourselves first start? Isn't it precisely in the desires fighting inside your own selves? You want something and you haven't got it, so you are prepared to kill. You have an ambition that you cannot satisfy, so you fight to get your way by force. Why you don't have what you want is because 
you don't pray for it. When you do pray and don't get it, it is because you have not prayed properly. You have prayed for something to indulge your own desires. The word of the Lord. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. After leaving the mountain, Jesus and his disciples made their way through Galilee. And he did not want anyone to know because he was instructing his disciples. He was telling them, the Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men. They will put him to death, and three days after he has been put to death, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he said and were afraid to ask him. They came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the road? They said nothing, because they had been arguing which of them was the greatest. So he sat down, called the twelve to him, and said, If anyone wants to be first, he must make himself last of all and servant of all. He then took a little child, set him in front of them, put his arms round him, and said to them, Anyone who welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, for our reflection, from the first reading, we come to know people who speak lies and their characters. People who do in their lives Either we blame God or we want to be good and then we keep on saying lies. Or in a way, it is the exaggeration of oneself. Pride also is involved in these lies. Now, what are their characters? The character, the first character is challenging attitude. Not challenging oneself, but challenging God. That's the first reading portrays people who speak lies and they challenge God. They have a very little knowledge about God, but then to the world, they want to be so high. And they do not want to admit their humbleness or they are also subject to decay, or they forget to humble themselves. 
And therefore, their character is to challenge everyone. And therefore, you will find broken relationship in their life. Secondly, coming to the second reading, we find people who are jealous are people who have got a selfish motivations and they have again the broken relationship. People who are jealous, they are not destructive uh, to the environment, but they are destroying themselves first. People who go through this sense of jealousy, they destroy their identity. They will never be happy. Their mind is a bit of in confusion. Their mind set is always comparing that should be better, that should be better, that is the better. And this is how they keep on their mind and heart on the things. They will never look down and to see the immediate need in their life. Their mind is preoccupied with the comparing. I have very poor clothes, but she or he has the better one. Comparison. And therefore, once you go through this selfish ambition, and then the environment is rotten. There will be no peace in the families. There will be no peace in the offices where we work. And finally, I would say, there is no peace here. This is how once we allow darkness to prevail in our hearts and there is no more light. That's why Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew says, I, like a mother, you know, stretched out my hands so as you take my refuge, but you continue to refuse. Again, in the Gospel of John, we find light came into the world, but people preferred darkness. This is how we see people who go through this sense of jealousy. Coming to the gospel, we find Jesus says, humble yourself. Humility is not a spirit of timidity. Humility is a power of God. The more that we humble ourselves, we will be exalted in the sight of God not in the sight of men. Therefore, we always choose men to boast ourselves. We always want to be good in the sight of men rather than God. So these are the evil spirits that are destroying ourselves and our Catholic identity. Today, what we need is the spirit of humility. We need the Holy Spirit to, to get into our life so as we cling on to goodness, the mercy of God, our life is focused towards the truth and the wisdom from above. And thus, we will have the power of God in ourselves. Please rise to profess our faith. I believe in God, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And it seated at the right hand of God, the Father, Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father that our faith may stand the test of trials of life and grow through them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who minister the church may be blessed with, with wisdom to lead God's people to the kingdom of heaven, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the rulers and people of UAE for welcoming us into this country, that the Lord may protect them, grant them wisdom, good health, and benevolence. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who have fallen away from practicing their faith may seek the help of the Holy Spirit to be renewed and to live their faith more fully. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That Christians will work together to assist those who are poor and needy. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may share fully in the joy of saints. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our personal needs. We pray for one another here present. May all of us have the spirit of light. Abba, Father, your Son died for us and rose to bring us wholeness and healing. May we be worthy disciples of Jesus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. have laid down your precepts to be faithfully kept. May my footsteps be firm in keeping your commands.
let us pray graciously raise up o lord those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life through christ our lord amen please be seated for the announcements bible alive 2022 is available at our pious article store as well as with a security guard at gate number 2 all are requested to buy a copy for your family and it is one of the best gifts you can give to your friends costing only 15 dirhams the church appreciates you for your support ccd is happy to announce the commencement of the 17th session online bible study on the book of revelations from monday 4th of october 2021 all parishioners are welcome every monday from 7:45 pm to 9:15 pm the next batch of oral confirmation course commences from 24th september The sacrament will be held in St Michael's Church Sharja on 20th November. Please visit the church website's adult confirmation page for more details. Children's catechism books distribution continues from 19th September onward until the end of September. On all days except Tuesday from 8:30 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. and from 4 pm to 8 pm new catechist training course commences from october 2021 to june 2022 if you are a baptized catholic with the basic knowledge of the bible and christian doctrine and interested in preparing to be a catechist please visit the faith formation page on the church website for more information church website www.sanmarysdubai.org please rise pray for mercy against the corona virus merciful father the dangerous spread of the fatal corona virus across the world has unsettled the world in all aspects of life We are in fear, misery, and pain. We implore you, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. We trust in you. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. You are our God, our Defender, our Protector, and Healer. Keep us safe from all threats of hidden dangers and deadly diseases. We pray that nobody will be affected anymore. by the deadly virus and all who are affected will be healed by the merits of the passion death and resurrection of your son our lord jesus christ and in the unity of the holy spirit amen we are going to begin our day from here from this holy place let's remind ourselves i have participated in the holy sacrifice of christ and therefore I will be joyful all through the day. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks to you all for being here early this morning. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. But let's wish you the same father